I'm Joe Teague. I am 18 years old. Everyone just assumes I'm female, but there's a little more to that. <laughs> I don't have any internal or external sex organs. The last guy I told about my condition, he said that was like a deal breaker. I was born with a condition called intersex. I define that as not having the typical binary sex organs or parts. In my case, it means that I don't have any internal or external sex organs. It also means I won't be able to have my own biological children since I don't have like a vaginal opening. I was born in Calcutta, India, and I was adopted by Sue and Patrick when I was about three and a half. She was delivered to us in an email. Yeah. yeah. We had been attempting to adopt for probably two years. I looked at that email, I read it over again, and I thought, that's our kid. That's our baby. I've always seen myself as a girl, as female, and so it wasn't really like a question of who or what I was. It was more of like, what am I going to do for myself in the future? And yeah, that's kind of yeah. like where we are now. In July, I'm having a reconstructive surgery to create the vaginal opening and the vaginal canal. I decided to do the surgery mainly because as I get older, I want to have a more typical female sex life. I know that it's going to be a long surgery and there's a long time of recovery. My hope is she's going to feel more complete as a person she identifies as, as a woman, mm -hmm. um, and that it will make it easier to date. So if I'm pursuing a relationship with a heterosexual male, there's the assumption that I have like all the typical parts. I have to explain it, and I want to be upfront about it. It can be kind of awkward at first. The last guy I told about my condition, he said that was like a deal breaker. I'm going on a date with Johnny, who I met on the app OkCupid. So, what are your options? Well, I could always just do shorts and I like a nice. You could. We've texted a bunch, we've talked on the phone. He knows about my condition. Isn't that a beautiful color on her? We're just worried about looking too formal because we're going to Main Street Bar and Grill. We have a lot of the same kind of beliefs and the same point of view, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try my other option. <laughs> so you nervous? A little. Mostly because I haven't actually met him yet. I've probably worried to excess about whether or not this guy will back out. I'm trusting Joe's judgment. Be good! I might get a burger, but I'm worried about how that's gonna look. I eat a burger pretty messy. It's hard to eat a burger clean. <laughs> True. But also, this is a date and I don't want to look like a pig. What um, stuff do you like to watch? I watch superhero stuff, um, pretty things like that, anime. Yeah. I wait for a show to release and then I'll just binge all of it. Yeah. Yeah, and also, here's the thing a lot of the time, we had a lot in common. In fact, we talked more than we ate, actually. <laughs> It was a little awkward at first, but I think, yeah, she seemed really cool and I liked her. I had a really good time. Yeah, this was good. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to go out on again? Yeah, I would. Yeah. The first time I met Joe, I knew within about 30 seconds that I had just come into contact with probably the most determined, strong, feisty little personality I would probably ever meet in my life. The subsequent 15 years have not proven that wrong. As much as it scares me to have the surgery because it is such a big operation, I'm also excited for it because I know this is something I definitely want to do.